2022 Ford Maverick Blind Spot Information System. What is the Blind Spot Information System? Blind Spot Information System detects vehicles that may have entered the blind spot zone. How does the Blind Spot Information System work? Blind Spot Information System uses sensors on both sides of the vehicle, detecting rearward from the exterior mirror to approximately 13 feet beyond the rear bumper. The detection area extends to approximately 59 feet beyond the rear bumper when the vehicle's speed is greater than 30 miles per hour to alert you of a faster approaching vehicle. Blind spot information precautions. Do not use the blind spot information system as a replacement for using the interior and exterior mirrors or looking over your shoulder before changing lanes. The blind spot information system is not a replacement for careful driving. The system may not operate properly during severe weather conditions, for example, snow, ice, heavy rain, and spray. Always drive with due careful care and attention. Failure to, to take care may result in a crash. Blind spot information system does not prevent contact with other vehicles. It does not detect parking vehicles, pedestrians, animals, or other infrastructures. Except one day, a deer did run up on my daughter and her blind spot system did go off. But it was too late. But the deer made it with a huge dent and it had to get fixed. Blind spot information system limitations. Blind spot information system does not operate in park or reverse. The system may not alert you if a vehicle quickly passes through the detection zones. Blind spot information requirements. Blind spot information system turns on when all the following occur. You start your vehicle, you shift into drive, and the vehicle speed is greater than six miles per hour. Switching the blind spot information system on and off. Now to switch the blind spot information system on or off, use the instrument cluster display. Select setting, select driver assistance, switch blind spot on or off. When you switch the blind spot information system off, a warning lamp illuminates and a message displays. When you switch the system on or off, the alert indicate, indicator flashed twice. The system remembers the last setting when you start your vehicle. To permanently switch the system off, contact an authorized dealer. Locating the blind spot information system sensor. sensor. And as you can see, it's located it right here. The sensors are behind the rear bumper on both sides of the vehicle. Keep the sensor free from snow, ice, and large accumulation of dirt. Do not cover the sensor with bumper stickers, repair compound, or other objects. Block sensors may affect system accuracy. Bike and cargo racks could cause false alerts due to the obstruction of the sensor. We recommend switching the feature off when using uh, bike racks or cargo racks. If the sensor becomes blocked, a message may appear in the information display. The alert indicator remains illuminated, but the system does not alert you. Blind spot information indicators. You see right here in the mirror. Now when the blind spot information system detects a vehicle, an alert indicator illuminates. An exterior mirror on the side of the approaching vehicle that is where they are coming from. Now if you turn the signal on in that side of your vehicle, the alert indicator flashes such as blind spot information troubleshooting. And these are the blind spot information system messages. Blind spot system fault. Now, a fault with the system has occurred. Have your vehicle checked. Blind spot not available. Sensor block. Something is blocking a sensor. Blind spot alert deactivated. Trailer attached. 
The system automatically turns off and displays this message when you connect the trailer to the vehicle that does not have a trailer blind spot system or when you switch the trailer blind spot system off through a touch screen. And that is the uh, blind spot information system. A quick recap of that. Of course, the, what is a blind spot system, which we all know already, how does it work? How, and um, the precautions, limitations, system requirements, switching it on and off, locating the blind spot system information system sensor and a blind spot information system indicator and then troubleshooting and also the messages that you get in your display regarding the blind spot and what to do this is automotive reviews uh, thanks for watching and continue enjoying the video and remember like share and subscribe and have a fantastic day enjoy the rest of this video